A week on and a speaker upgrade for the Wallabies. ACDC's Thunderstruck blasted through Twickenham's sound system. Israel Folau aiming to shoot to thrill against Wales, but all is not well for one of the Wallabies' biggest rock stars as he battles an ankle injury. It's not 100%, but I mean... Um... You know, it, it, for me, I'm, I'm confident, you know, otherwise I wouldn't be uh, strapping on the boots. The Wallabies on a 10-match winning streak against the Welsh, not that Michael Checker cares. It's irrelevant, you know. World Cup's different. It's different. It's not another test match. The winner to claim top spot in Pool A with both nations already qualified for the quarterfinals. It's a sign of weakness if we relax now and say, oh, well, we're qualified so we can chill out and just see what happens. I don't... I don't... I don't think that's the right. I've tried not to pass that feeling on to the players and I don't think the players are feeling like that at all. Definitely not for Sean McMahon, the flanker tasked with the huge responsibility of carrying the team mascot everywhere they go. He's done, doing a good job of carrying the wallaby around with us as the youngest member of the team. They're not letting us put him on the field. Uh, so uh, we're not allowed to put him on the field. So we thought we'll send Shawnee out on the field to replace <laughs> the wallaby. So uh, I'm sure he'll enjoy himself and he brings a lot of energy to the game.